Hi Capricorn, welcome to Cardelian Moon. Hope you are all well. Everything you need to know about this reading. Why do I always sound like I'm singing that? Everything. Everything you need to know. Anyway, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. To all my subscribers, new and old, thank you so much for your continued support, your likes, shares and your comments. It really, really does mean a lot to me. If you are new, grab a chair, get comfy. What one? Yeah, got it, that one, okay. Grab a chair, get comfy. Hopefully you like what you see, and if you do, you'll hit that subscribe button before you go. Oh, that's a lot. So let's sit and you want that one, okay. Oh, you is on the move. Okay. Traveling, oh, hang on. What are you doing? What, what? Cards are exploding, hang on a minute. Interesting. Okay. With the deck. Fast action, fast communication. Something might catch you unawares, okay? You might all of a sudden make this split decision and just run with it. All right, Capis, this week. Okay, what we've got for you is there is a passion burning in you at the moment. All right? You may be dealing with a fire sign, you may also be dealing with an air sign. Oh, no, sign. Okay, forget the signs. Okay, there is a passion burning within you at the moment. There is there is a fire that has just started lighting in your belly and it is getting more and more and more and more. Okay, this spurs you um, probably quicker than you realise to literally get on a boat, get on a plane, get on a long distance coach, go on a car trip, something along them lines, because you have realised the only place you're going to actually receive the help you need, even though it is someone, someone or something or some establishment that you don't want to ask for help, but it's either going to be legal help that you really don't want to have to ask for or you are going to be getting help from a gemini libra or aquarius okay this person understands your situation inside out all right they intuitively are in tune with whatever is going on in your mind in your emotions in your um psyche however you want to put it all right and they know that this is to help you and believe it or not you're actually further along than you feel over with regards to some heartache I tell you, just think all his food he's looking to see what the dogs have got um, um <clears throat> this is to do with that it's you were worn down by some sort of heartache upset despair something like that okay and this literally knocked you off your feet sent you to your bed if you want to look at it like that but it did it was a blow and it took and you needed to rest and recuperate okay this rest and recuperation period is over now and like i said i do feel it is to do with um a three of swords moment there's the fourth sword down there because once you've rested you're going to get up to fight again and i do feel you are getting up to fight again okay and what you're what you you may possibly be fighting against a taurian but what i feel you're what I feel you are more fighting for is the is to get some sort of stability, some sort of um, oh, come on, get the words, get the words. It's you know how um, there are some things in your life that it's not that you take them for granted, but you forget they're there. Okay, you you forget that you like um. Not exactly a person, that may be, but it's more, um, there are certain ways of doing things, okay? And it might be that you go somewhere else and you see that, oh, a really, really silly example, but it's the only one that sprung into my mind, okay? You're making, sorry, it's really random, but you are making um, jam on toast, or I think in America you call it jelly. But anyway, um, a preserve, okay? Some sort of preserve on toast. So you get your toast, then you put your butter on, and then some people get the but the knife, which still has butter on it, and puts it in the jam jar. No, 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 no. don't do that. 
you don't do that. What you do is you keep the knife in that hand and you put a spoon in the jar and get a spoonful of jam out and, and put it on the toast and then you spread it on. Because if you put butter in with the jam, it makes the jam go off really, really quick because the, the dairy goes off quick and then it, bleh, it's yuck. Okay, so it's sort of like that's how you make your toast. You know, you use your spoon and you're and there's someone else that I'm digressing so badly here. <laughs> Bear with me. I will get there. Bear with me. Someone else is coming along and putting putting the butter in the the butter knife in the jam. Okay, so that doesn't sit right with you, and it isn't something you would think about every day. You know, you you wouldn't walk around all day going, well, I put a spoon in my jam jar. You know, yet some people put knives in. But there there is something that is <clears throat> that is an everyday thing for you, or someone who is an everyday thing for you that that is always always there and it is always done that way and this is what you this is what you are trying to return to did that make any sense at all is that like as clear as mud now let me try can i try and articulate it in another way you are trying to return to what you consider home there you go that was much easier wasn't it what you can what what is what sits right with you what you know is on par with you it's not different it's not and it's not something that you're consciously aware of every day okay but there is a contentment there am i, am I making this i'm actually making this worse am i oh dear god okay Let's try and reiterate this and see if I can get this right this time around. Because I'm getting a bit of a hot flush now. I'm in my 50s. You've got to bear with me. There is this fire burning inside you. Very much like my hot flush. Burning inside of you. It has been slowly, slowly building. Okay. There have been other outside influences that have tried to quell and, and um, distinguish this fire that is burning inside of you. Okay. You may all of a sudden decide this week that. That is it. I'm getting on that boat. I'm getting on that plane. I'm getting, or if you're not physically moving from one spot to another, and it may only be temporary. I'm not saying like, you know, you're running away and never returning or witness protection or anything like that. But if you're not physically going from one place to another, you have, this fire has reached such a, such a point that it has finally clicked into place what you have learned up to date. And what you need to take forward with you and what you need to leave behind. OK, now some of you will be getting assistance from a possible air sign, like I said, Libra, uh, Gemini or Aquarius. OK, if not, you're getting some help from legal matters. You did not in some sort of legal matter or in some sort of paperwork contract, something along those lines. OK, it was it is to cut someone or something out. OK, but you didn't want to have to ask for help is to help you sever that find that final tie. OK, there was some what other sign had something to do with the final tie. I think it was Scorpio. I think Scorpio had, had been dealing with someone that also had to sort out a final tie, I think, of some description. So you may want to check that out if you've got Scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with a Scorpio. Um, you'll know. So. Yeah, you're, you're acting to ask help, but this help is actually um, a, a more beneficial than you probably realise. A lot more beneficial than you probably realise, because like I said, this person or this institution or wherever it is that you end up getting help from, they know this situation inside out inside out if it's someone that knows you personally they know exactly where you're at emotionally mentally physically psyche wise all all of those things spiritually they've they've got that they know you so implicitly so implicitly that they know um they know where you're at and it, it's, it's almost like they can be you for you while you get yourself back up and into the game OK, and this is this person or this situation, like I said, is is a uh, is a contentment to you. It is something that you often forget, not because you're taking it for granted, but because it, it, it's something that is done without thinking. Or this person is, is someone who 
who you just know is always there. You don't have to um, molly coddle them. You don't have to um, constantly be in touch with them or something. It, it, like I said, it's it's kind of home, but it's not home as in here's a house. It's home as in they are you and you are them. Or they are... They are... Um, You're like two halves of a shell. You're like a clamshell. You're like two halves of a shell. That's what you're like. And together you make the whole. Together you make the whole. And whether this is a situation that makes you whole or another person that makes you whole. For a lot of you, I do feel it is another person. But you didn't feel, until this fire burnt up more within you, you didn't feel you were either able to go for, to them or able to go through this situation. To be fair, part of this passion that's burning up inside of you, a, a, a small part of it might actually be rage or anger or sort of, I'm done, enough is enough. You know, like, like that. I'm not saying you're going to get violent in that line or anything like that, Cappy, but Has something or someone has been trying to quell that in you? And in, in, in trying to put out your fire, in trying to put out your spark, all they've actually done is, is rolled it up even more to the point where you're like, enough, enough. And once this clicks in your head or clicks in your heart or clicks in your spirit, however, however you want to, or your gut, whatever it is, it's going to go boom, 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 really, really fast. Really, really fast. So, yeah, I feel you are on the move. If you're not physically on the move, you are, um, the lessons have kicked in. You now see the light because you have lit up inside yourself. You now see the light. But there is help coming from somewhere that you didn't really want to have to ask. I don't even think you ask for help. I think the help just comes. But you didn't really want to have to get this person or these people or this situation, this establishment involved. But they've got your back and they, they understand it implicitly, implicitly. And they bring you back to your own alignment, like I said, that contentment, that contentment returns. Contentment definitely returns. Very heavy, fast week, but but good, believe it or not. Very good, believe it or not. Mm. All right, my darlings, I will leave that with you. I will be back very soon. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until then, you just take care and look after yourselves. All right, lots of love. Bye.